Today I've been busy out in the yard uh, replacing solenoids on the sprinklers, uh, mowing, weed eating. Still have the backyard to do, but I had to get all the shrubs trimmed up in the front and rose bushes and all that. So then it dawned on me, I need to get busy and get some meat marinating for some carne asada tacos that I have coming up in the next couple of days. So I want to make sure that I get this going for you guys. And if this inspires you to stay with me, I hope you go down in the show more box below and uh, go over to my Facebook page. If you've got Facebook, hit that like button and get notified anytime I update or load somebody else's video over there. Uh, also, right next to that is my Wild Tree website, and I will be using the Chipotle Lime Rub from Wild Tree. It's an all-natural, all-organic company that I work for, and you can go over there and work for them yourself, earn some extra money, or just get a discount every time you shop. All right, guys. So, that being said, all of you that like uh, carne asada, oh, this is such a delicious recipe, and it's so easy to put together, and um, it truly is delicious. So, I hope it brings you along. All right, guys, let's go make a marinade. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm glad you stayed for this. This is super easy. It doesn't take that long to put together, and it makes an outstanding dish in the end. So what I've got is fresh cilantro. It smells amazing. I've got some really nice oranges and limes that I have washed off with um, veggie wash. You want to make sure you wash your citrus. I've got a sweet onion. Now you could use a yellow onion, you can use any kind of onion you want, but I, I, I like the sweet onions. Um, it lends a really nice note in the marinade. So I've got that and what I'm doing is, that is going with my little handheld mandolin. I'm just going to slice part of this up and that's plenty. Take that away. And we'll save this part of the onion for a different recipe I have coming up next. Salsa. Gonna have some salsa for Cinco de Mayo. And actually this might be a little bit too much of the onion, but we'll set it aside and see what we need. And now I'm gonna set these. And I've got some um, lean roast that I cut up. Now, you can use a fattier cut of um, meat if you'd like, um, but I'm trying to stay as lean as possible, and my guests are too, so I'm going to do this. Um, I just sliced it as thin as I could slice it. You kind of get your meat half frozen. makes it a little bit easier. I am going to have some, uh, some poultry tacos as well, so... They won't have to just have beef if they don't want a carne asada taco. Go so I'm going to put this back in the fridge. I have two limes that's sliced. I sliced up an orange, and this orange is really juicy. Just the end left about a tablespoon of juice in here. I've got my onion and my cilantro all done. Now I'm going to kind of put together the liquid portion of this. So what I want to do is we're going to need some vinegar. Red wine vinegar, honest and truly, um, will be your meat tenderizer part of it as well as the um, Acid from the citrus so red wine vinegar oh, We need garlic Yum, okay, and we need some a little bit of oil and I'm going to use wild trees natural grapeseed oil I don't want to flavor it. So that's about two tablespoons of oil and the grapeseed oil has a high smoke temp. The other um, little fact uh, about grapeseed oil is if you brush your barbecue grill, nothing will stick on it. Um, if you brush it with the grapeseed oil, uh, chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast won't stick on your grill. So this is the Wild Trees Java Rub. And I'm just going to put down, that's about a half a tablespoon. That's what was left in that jar. One of my favorites, actually. We need some salt. Maybe half a teaspoon or so. And then we want some pepper flakes, because we like it spicy. Oh, I'm gonna say half a tablespoon. And those will kind of break down in this. And then I've got wild trees. 
uh, chipotle lime rub. It's delicious. It has another element of lime. And this is about a tablespoon left in that jar. So. Then we want to kind of whisk this together a little bit. Now we're going to need some juice in here. Some citrus and some garlic. And I'll probably do the garlic off camera just because I uh, kind of spaced that. And you can get, uh, I can get my citrus reamer out, but, and I don't care if the seeds get in here. Fresh orange juice. Can you use concentrate? I suppose. Is it going to taste as good? No. tablespoon. Well, I'm going to give it a teaspoon. Heaping teaspoon of black pepper. And then we're going to juice this lime. And you want to make sure you roll your lime out. It really opens up and bursts those little pockets of juice in there. citrus reamer if you want to. Okay, and I think we're good to go. So now, oh, it smells fabulous. And even though it's really strong and nothing's really completely released yet, I do want a little bit of a taste. And all I do is get my spoon wet to see if I'm getting the flavors that I want for the base of this. And I really think <clears throat> it's just perfect. So now all I have to do is get my meat back out. And I like to do this in layers. So what I'm gonna do is set my meat right there beside the bowl. See what you can see. You can't really see. Okay, so there's the meat. And we're going to put some onion down in the bottom here. Okay. And none of this is going to be in a different dish, so don't, don't freak out. And a couple orange slices and some lime. And then some meat. You really want to get that zhuzhed on there well. Okay, oops, cilantro. Some more orange. And some more lime. Isn't that pretty? And some more meat. And we just keep going until we get it all in there and saturated. If I need more liquid, I'm going to go ahead and juice another orange and another lime and probably add some more vinegar. But I'll bring you back when I'm ready to put it in the Ziploc bag because that's where I'm going to marinate it. Okay, okay guys, I'm um, right. ready to put this in the bag. And I did juice another orange in here, added about a fourth of a cup more red wine and vinegar and uh, six cloves of garlic minced up. And so now I like to take, I've got a Tupperware container. Um, take a Ziploc bag, and I wish I could find the two-gallon bags, but I can't seem to find them here. And I just start putting this meat in there, and all of the good stuff that goes with it. Now, I could leave it right in this bowl, but I really want to be able to smoosh it around and easily, and it just doesn't work as well. Why do I do it in the bowl first? Yeah. I can 
and I think I get more layers because as you can see they're kind of staying together layers are and this isn't a marinade that needs to be super sloppy and wet but this is also a great marinade for chicken for um, pork it's just delicious can you replace the wild tree with stuff you have in your pantry absolutely people a lot of times people will say well I can't get that or um, I can't afford it and I'm certainly not trying to push anything on anybody just trying to give you some options all right so there's everything in the bag and let me take your bag right out of there and get as much air out of this as you can because like I said now it's going to get a massage every so often and honest and truly that's all you need so there's my marinade and you know usually I get to show you the end product but today that's all I'm going to show you is this marinade it's going to marinate in the refrigerator at least overnight um, and then tomorrow we can grill it or you could actually even do this days in advance it can be two or three days if you want to but I really like the one day method it's perfect and it's about 4 30 in the afternoon here so one day is perfect we can grill this off tomorrow night and have some carne asada tacos and so what I'd like to do is make you come back for the end result and see how it turns out all right guys I hope I see you again and as always if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and if you really like it, go ahead and share it on your Facebook page because maybe somebody hadn't thought of this or hadn't uh, didn't have a recipe for it. All right. As always, guys, God bless.